Good evening. I'm Christopher Kennedy. I work for Crunchyroll. Welcome to my home. So, I'd like to mention first that Crunchyroll is the number one destination for anime. Anime is now a pop culture mainstay. It's very big. And so, today I'm going to talk about Scaling up anime with machine learning and smart real-time algorithms, which is very important at the current um, increase in popularity of anime. So these are some experiments at Crunchyroll we did with using software like Waifu 2X and Anime 4K to improve the upscale quality on all the devices. So preserving anime quality on larger screens. Anime 4K is one possible way, and Waifu 2X another. We found these interesting programs and we decided to write a blog post about our experiments that we had done with them and our future potential use of them. Um, they're both freely available open source. Um, Anime 4K is a real-time um, method of upscaling. It uses shader, shaders to do so, while Wi-Fi 2X is a machine learning algorithm that upscales in slower but sometimes a little bit higher quality. So I'm going to cover these two today and give some insight on this blog post that we made on Medium. So real-time algorithms for scaling often you lose quality from 10 to 20 percent. Um, bilinear is about 20 percent and maybe possibly more. Um, and there's 10 percent loss with bicubic. So bilinear scaling is used by most hardware. So this is obviously a problem and now also, in addition, we've got classic standard definition anime from DVDs often that would be real time, that would give real time scaling algorithms a great challenge. And usually they're going to be bilinear on like a TV. And this is a challenge with anime because it's often hand drawn or and it's difficult to upscale in the first place. Many classic anime are in standard definition still and are very popular, which again compounds the problem even more and then we've got fans of anime who are you know very demanding of high fidelity and they have an eye for quality above um, other genres of video content from what we've seen at least um, so anime 4k uses shaders it's real time it's pretty good at turning SD into HD you can go to 4k in one pass so it uses shaders to do this it's subjectively pleasing as an improvement it saves the encoder CPU time and network bandwidth because it's upscaling at the player, but it's not a perfect reproduction of the original BMAF test. It's about 84, so it's in between those bilinear and bicubic methods. It's good for fixing up the SD to HD at the player, and you could go up to 4K, so it's pretty nice. So we also looked at Waifu 2X machine learning, an uh, algorithm that's not real time, but it avoids all the inferior upscale algorithms at the device and player level through encoding the mezzanine and then creating multiple um, resolutions off of that and serving them in the traditional way. So it's using deep convolutional neural networks with NVIDIA GPUs. It's two times upscale at a time. So you can each pass will do two times the current resolution. It's not real time, it's about four seconds per frame. It's got really accurate fidelity when objectively measured, though, so that's bonus. So, super resolution convolutional neural networks. Waifu 2X is based off of this paper, off of these kind of methods of improving images. It's a deep end to end mapping from a low to a high resolution image. It takes high resolution images and it uses bicubic scaling to, to do different. Uh, machine learning um, methods of coming up with the way to recreate, you know, fill in the missing information. Its ability, it has the ability to handle three color channels simultaneously, which is um, rare, I guess, uh, in the paper it claims. Um, simplicity, speed, and accuracy improvements over state-of-the-art super resolution methods, and it can handle larger data sets, which just improve the accuracy instead of reducing it. So over regular state-of-the-art resolu super resolution networks, this is a pretty good algorithm. So when you look at it subjectively in comparisons, you can see on the top sort of the bilinear and the bottom 
are the waifu 2x's here's the logo of naruto and you can see it has cleaned it up quite a bit and it doesn't look fake here is a, the subtleness of waifu 2x that you can see it's touching up the blurry you know uh, stuff and it's not um overdoing it here's a ninjas with a, their kunai weapon and on the left you see how the kunai it's zoomed in you it's not as good as on the right, but yet the right does not look fake. And here you can see the kanji characters are much better on the right than the left. So here's an example of it in motion, which is tricky to capture, but for a presentation like this. So you, you can see that on the left there, it's, it's just a little blurrier. You see the lines of the hair are just going to look better on that Waifu 2X HD version versus a bilinear upscale on a hardware device potentially. Um, you can see the insignia on the ninja headband and as we come in closer. Um, it, it just basically makes everything look crisp and fresh. Um, it's definitely a problem because we have so many older SD anime that are very popular classic titles and these things just look terrible and they're there when you upscale them on the device and they are an XVID often we have XVID DVD rips of them and that's what we have to use for the mezzanines for these series so th this is this is a wonderful asset to you for us in the future so how do we quantify the quality of a waifu 2x upscale when we don't have an, uh, an original um, HD of it to compare to. Well, we came up with a method of measuring this quality objectively through downscaling a 1080p to a 360p, then upscaling to a 720p with each algorithm, including one for 2x. So we can see here how in bilinear scaling you get 78.53 VMath, by cubic scaling 90.36. In waifu 2x scaling you get 96.85. Now, when you take a 1080p, the 1080p original and you compress it to 720p, you get 97.17. And when you take the waifu 2x to, um, 720p and compress it to 720p, it's 96.12. So you can see a very less than a point, you know, less than a point of VMAF lost with waifu 2x versus just using the 1080p. And when you come, you're coming from a 360p downscale, then bilinear, you know, instead of bilinear upscaling, you're using waifu 2x. So this is, this is a great, you know, bilinear horrible. Um, also interesting, look at the PSNR and how P PSNR is interesting because on the waifu, it does show, PSNR catches these things, but subjectively, as you can see, and as you can tell with VMAF, it's, it's also validating VMAF some in this comparison because we've tri kind of um, triangulated three different ways to look at it. So here's the graph showing the same statistics here with the far right, the original, just nothing, no compression, the, then a compressed, you know, version, compressing it, how much you lose, and then you've got the waifu with the yellow around it, and then the reds are the bilinear and the bicubic. So there's a quality versus speed trade-off with waifu 2x. It's slow, it requires a GPU. 30 frame per second video at 24 minute 480p video would take you 16 hours to upscale. Training currently is content specific. It's focused on anime, but it's accurate and true to the original artwork, and it with objective quantification, we can see in subjective, it, it works really well. And you can only run, though, two times upscale per pass. So you have to do multiple passes, and they don't get faster per pass. So we used AWS EC2 G-Series with Tensor GPUs. We utilized a G4 DNX Large EC2. So that cost around 50 cents per hour for us. You know, so you can see 16 hours we, we got with 24 minute anime 30 frame per second, 12 hours with 24 minute 23.976 frame per second anime. It's something that you could maybe get your own system and use bare metal for locally to, if you really did mass do this to make even cheaper, but it's about 16 to $32 per mezzanine. And then you've got yourself all the, an HD that never existed. So who knows if it's worth it or not for your service. Um, so here's how you generally run Wi-Fi 2X. It's, um, Basically, you extract PNG images, you create an index, it runs over them and creates the upscaled PNG images, and then you turn them into a video. It's um, got a Lua version. Um, there's also other versions in different languages.
So there's caveats to mass usage for more upscaling with waifu, of course. Bottlenecks to mass use or latency. Time to encode is very long. It requires costly GPU-based EC2 instances, and it has anime-focused models only right now. But potentially, we could optimize this and increase the mass use of Waifu 2X. It's been around a while, hasn't caught on with the general public, the anime community. It's, you know, pretty well known. Um, but we could, you know, find ways to par parallel process it. We want better GPUs in the future, of course. Um, more GPUs, maybe a local, yeah, making a local setup. If a service had this set up, that would be a nice future thing, perhaps. Um, create more models for more than just anime, like gaming videos. Um, other genres might look really nice with Waifu 2X. I'm certain gaming videos could have a, something nice from this. Um, scale more than two times without multiple runs, which is currently not possible. I mean, with gaming videos, you in theory could like um, decrease the resolution and transfer them and then increase it. That's, a, that's one thing that this... You, know, you could use Wi-Fi 2X to um, make the video smaller and then send it somewhere and then, you know, fill it back out. <laughs> and it, it's actually the VMAF's good enough to where it wouldn't be that bad. It's almost lossless, I guess you could say, in some ways. But, of course, on the PSNR says it's not objectively, but subjectively, yes, you could possibly do that. Um, so here's the references. Um, our anime blog post link, our Medium. Um, the paper that inspired the Waifu 2X Super Resolution to using deep convolutional neural networks. Um, some more information on convolutional neural networks. There's also Waifu 2X and Anime 4K um, source code that you can download and start using. Um, there's a gist on how to you can run the exact same experiments we did to show you the statistics here on your own content. Um, there's an image upload-based web services for Waifu 2X. There's a Docker image of it, but it doesn't take advantage of the speed, so it's really slow. Um, but yeah, and you've got a, an SRC and an implementation uh, in the Lua, the actual code in Waifu 2x that the the stuff from the paper is in this file there. So you can look directly at the implementation they used if you want to through that link. And so I'm Christopher Kennedy from Crunchyroll, and. Thank